Ponyfans.com here with senior safety Chris Banjo. Talk a little about the off week. Uh, what's been your focus for the last week since the win over TCU? Just regrouping, getting back to the you know basics and the fundamentals. You know we did a lot of things that uh, you know we needed to take off of film. You know we put some things on film that you know displayed that wasn't the SMU defense, especially on the defense side of the ball. So you know this off week just gave us time to get back to the basics, the fundamentals. You know allowed us to regroup and get healthy and let's go again. One of the uh, highlights of the off week is always sort of the freshman bowl. And now that you're one of the seniors, like you look like you were one of the coaches out there. Who impressed you out of the freshmen? Uh, Tavares. Tavares did what well. he was coming downhill. Um, ah, to be honest, I really couldn't tell you. They were all flying around. J.R. Richardson uh, did what well out there, you know, locking his side of the field down. Um, who else? Who else? Rashad, Rashad uh, Wimley, I was out there running the ball. You know, he's a hefty, big, hefty guy. He got a couple of carries, uh, you know, so far during the season. But, you know, they, the, the future for SMU is bright. Let's just put it at that. The future is bright, real bright for SMU. All right, you got Central Florida coming in this week. And when, when you look at them on film, they're 3-2, and two, but they're 3-0 and oh at home and 0-2 oh and two on the road. From what you've seen starting as you've started to study the tape, what's the difference between their home and road teams? You can see at home they play with a lot more confidence and a lot more swagger. You know, I guess I don't know if it's on the road that you know are just a little bit more nervous, a little bit more jittery, but they definitely play with more confidence at home. Uh, the thing about uh, US, uh, UCF, excuse me, um, you know they're a very blue collar team. They they take care of business and they you know do everything right. So whether they be at home or on the road, you're going to see flashes that during the game. You got to play them last year in the conference USA championship game. How different are they from the 2010 to 2011? Do you see a lot of changes, or is this pretty much the same team? The way they do things is pretty much the same. You know, given that they've lost, you know, maybe a couple of key people, they pretty much do the same thing. You know, they're a very physical team, and you know, they're gonna they're gonna do their style of football. They're not gonna change what they do. So we just have to come ready to play and ready be ready to go to work. Their quarterback Jeff Godfrey, not the biggest guy in the world, but he runs really well. But his passing numbers, he, he's a pretty efficient passer too. He was. 15 of 19 uh, against you guys last year. Is he an underrated passer? Is he more of a dual threat than he gets credit for? I believe so, definitely. I mean, he may not be the pro prototypical type quarterback, you know, quick release or different things of that nature that everybody looks for, but he's definitely efficient, you know. If the guy's open, he's going to give him the ball, you know, with, with the chance for him to make a play out of it. So he's, very, he's definitely a very efficient quarterback, and we have to keep all of that contained. They've only thrown one touchdown pass this year coming into your game Saturday. They haven't given up any touchdown passes. Is Saturday's game going to be decided on the ground? Uh, I guess you could say that. You know, their, their game is very physical. They love to pound the ball. And, you know, we have to get them out of their style of football, which is pound the ball. You know, try to force them to make some, you know, make, uh, bad decisions. Try to put the ball in the air a little bit so we can take it away. You know, we only have one interception on the year, so this would be a great time, you know, really turn that around and, you know, get some balls out the air. When you look at their running game, they've got two running backs. Uh, Bryn Harvey and Ronnie Weaver. They're both about six feet, a little over 200 pounds. Their numbers are pretty similar. Do they have similar running styles, or is there a real contrast defending one versus the other? They're, they're pretty much the same type of guys. But the thing about that, they're very physical. They run real hard. They hit the hole. And, you know, they, a lot of the, they're real secure with the ball, you know, two hands on the ball at all times. They may have a couple of fumbles, but, you know, they're very, like I said, a blue-collar team. They're going to do the little things right, you know, hitting the hole, not cutting back a lot. So they're very, they're very good backs, I would say. When you got them last year in the Conference USA title game, they got a, they got a, the victory in that game. Do you guys think about revenge going into this? Does that factor into your preparation? Definitely, definitely. Coach Herring is always joking around. Well, not, actually not joking, but dead serious in saying that they have on our, our championship rings. So when they get off that bus, they're going to be wearing our rings. So we have to come with that mindset, you know, that they got away from us last year and we have to be ready to dominate from start to finish. Was that a factor uh, two weeks ago against TCU too? Do you carry over a lot of revenge thoughts from uh, the previous year? Me personally, me personally, but uh, from time to time, Coach Heron, he's definitely the, the coach out of the group that will try to you know st uh, stir up a little fire and get get the guys going a little bit. But me personally, I don't. You know, every game is a new game. You know, I just try to go with the mindset that you have to be ready to take care of this game and this game only.